Hello. Well, do you know what this one's called? It's Katakana. <clears throat> no, Katana. I keep getting confused with Katakana as in the Japanese writing system or one part of. Right. I wanted a little one. Unfortunately, there's a lot of black. <laughs> but well, I'm doing the black first just so I can get it over and done with because there is a lot. And it's going to take me a while. This is like B5200 in the um in my the boys. Right, let's see what's going on here. Oh, this is ridiculous. And this thing is just so sticky. I'm going to have to try and find a way to unstick it a bit because it's just ridiculously sticky. That's still sticky. But well, I don't mind sticky canvases, but when they're too sticky, they get a bit of pain in the butt, inkski. So what is everybody up to today? Are you getting ready? Have you got a like a... Oh, God. Desi, get down. You're being a naughty little screw butt. Uh, is anybody doing any events? Are there any events? I know there's a mermaids and magic one coming up soon. But I don't know about any more. I'm waiting for the um, uh, the May, DIY DP May 24 to come up. Where I can start attacking my cross-stitch conversion again. But before then, I want to try and get as many of these whips out of the way. I stopped doing my um, Make-A-Wish Take a Bite for the minute because I wanted a bit of a break. It's crazy because I stopped doing that because there was just so much blimmin' black. And now what am I doing? I'm doing black. Where's the logic in that? Then go figure. I had craft group today. We were tidying out the um the cupboards. Why is it I can do that at craft group and elsewhere and I can be pretty assertive and everything else like that, you know, with what we should be keeping and everything else. But yet when it comes to my own crap, I just can't do it. I just can't seem to let it go, let it go. Yes. Right now, what are we doing here? Oh, go. Yep. I sorted out a lot of stuff from my craft fair yesterday, last night. That's ready. So tomorrow night, I must bring the beast of my scooter in. To the house and charge it up and then the next day I can just load it up well take it outside load it up and on my way and I just hope I will wake up because I was awake late today because I didn't get to sleep till about six o'clock this morning it's just ridiculous I mean I tried I might have dozed off for a bit but then I woke up again I've got to try and get some more earlier nights in and retrain my, my what's it, circadian rhythm, they say. Oh, look at this. There's just too many. These, either the squares are too small or these drills are too big. But they're being very, very tight. Not enough room. I don't want gaps, but there again, I don't want to have to really struggle and force the little blighters in. Because I'm already tired. And that's when they tend to scatter across the page, you know, across the way. But I thought I would do all the black first, get the boring, horrible stuff out of the way. 
and then I can do the in betweenies, you know, the nicer colours. But I've only done this much so far, and I'm already losing the will to live. But I have to keep going because otherwise I have a whip that will just stay with me and it won't get done. I've got to finish that um, holiday shop really, but it's Christmassy. So I don't kind of like getting Christmassy themed, um, you know, paintings. Because, you know, Christmas is a busy time of year and you just sort of, well, it just, track with my budgeting system I really have things going again I am procrastinating basically I've worked this out I am diamond painting and procrastinating I'm ex giving myself excuses I say I have to diamond paint because I've got lots of diamond paintings that I'll never get around to doing if I don't so therefore I have to do them but at the same point got so much stuff that I've got to do like work I'm not doing much work and it's a bit crazy because I've got so many ideas that I've got to do and I've also got to list and eBay changing their rules in a bit they're making the prices go up which is a pain in the butt because at the moment I'm list I should be listing a lot because I can get the first 1,000 or 2,000 listings free and um, I'm not making the most of that well, it's crazy when I had Etsy, I had a nice little system going and it, I was earning quite a bit and it was all really on par. And then some jealous bod got in and um, reported me. And then I was suspended. I just sort of think mm. so that was my earnings gone in one swift moment I mean I was getting about two grand a month and from that to nothing it's ridiculous very upsetting I mean, granted that two grand wasn't, um, you know, I had to take off my costs off of that, but still, you know. And then, of course, I plough everything back into the business, so I wasn't taking anything as a wage, which is what perhaps I should have done, but, you know, I'm trying to grow my business, I was. And it was getting there. And then boom, 
gutting. But well, I have a few more plans up my sleeve and ideas. I've just got to crack on and do. And a lot of them, you know, I've got a lot of budgeting and folders, you know, binders and envelopes. You know, those plastic um, envelope sleeve things, Ziploc envelopes. And I'm just going to put a few of those together. I've got my brother P-Touch, so I'm going to do some labels. And um, then hopefully I'll flog them. And I'll probably flog them for a tenner. Cheap. Really, for that and all that'll be what will be inside. And then I want to... Um, so... I'm just trying to get shot of a lot of um, stuff that I have. <clears throat> and um, but really, that's what I should be doing. So I think once I finish this one, I might have to clear the decks for a bit and um, um, crack on with making, do, putting together the bits that I need to put together. I mean, I might still just film that. And I know it's not quite diamond art, but um, we will see. I might just film it and put it up. But I do intend to do a lot of them. Oh, bugger. And then that happens. See, this flipping canvas is just so sticky. that Everything is sliding too damn easily. And then they back into each other and then push up. Because it's like there's too much that these aren't adhering to them. Oh, God. I'm already bored of doing this black. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happened to all the rest of my um, putty. I had... Um, what, four slices, four varieties, and I've only got one that I can find. Don't know where the others have gone. It's annoying. Oh, I was looking on IKEA yesterday, last night, this morning, whenever it was. And um, there's a few items that I need to get. I was quite pleased the calyxes have come down. I mean, they had a big two by four one. And they had, that was 50 quid. I think usually it's something like about 75, but that's not bad. Oh, come on. Oh, one on the end there, that's why. Yes, yeah, so, um, God, this stuff is really annoying, isn't it? Where are my scissors? Oh, where are my scissors? There they are. Hold on a minute. These have got tear lines. Holy cow! How mental is that? How absolutely freaking mental is that? I had heard about them, but I didn't. Oh shoot! But I didn't realise it would be on this one because this is this one's been a pretty old painting. 
Oh my God. And that tore off quite nicely. Um, and breathe. Oh, bugger. No, turn off. <clears throat> What's going on down here? Oh, okay, that can go under there. out this thing right that's that now this thing's a lot easier to use Noisy, then I start thinking of new drenching. There we go. Yeah. Golly, look how many were stuck in. There's a few stragglers, which obviously must have been stuck in here. And those ones. Well, there. Flipping good little Hoover. I don't know whether I've got that off AliExpress or Timu for cheap, but it's very good. Right. Lettuce. That is a bit of putty. Right. Let us just start again. I'm still taken back over those perforations. They are amazing and they work. Oh, come on. Shall I uh, call these down a bit? Call them down? That isn't wrong. I try and unstick them a bit. That's the one. Oh, dear. must stop watching YouTube of an evening. It's getting really ridiculous. I want to bring my scan and cut downstairs though. I know I've just gone off on a tangent but um, I was looking up and I want to do some stickers. Now I'm not very good at drawing so um, actually I'm crap. But I'm sure I can make some stickers, especially like my untamed for my untamed guys from the pictures. So I'm going to hunt out the stickers that I'd already um, got and 
on sheets ready to print out and then I'm going to scan them into um, my scanning cut and I was looking up various um what's it called um Ujima flips um what are they called oh cutting that's it god brainless burke I am um you know making stickers with a scanner cut and I found a really good easy peasy one and I thought aha that's the way to do it so I will be making some stickers and some of those stickers will be stickers with DMC numbers they'll only be the numbers because I've come to the conclusion that the colours are completely crazy and I'm not going to waste my time hunting out all loads of colours only for them to be sort of wrong. But, I mean, I've looked on Amazon at DMC stickers and they just do those stupid pokey little ones now I got those little ones before and I'll tell you what they are shite they fall off they unstick pretty damn quickly and they're just a menace a menace to society I think oh god I've done it again and um so I want to do some bigger ones you know, jar size ones. And I want to see how much it costs me. So, I mean, there's quite a few things that I want to do. And I also want to um, sort out my notebooks. And get them... Sort of, but I need to get a lot of stuff to the office and I need to sort that office out and I need to um, try and get my what not my um, scooter to get over the, um, the threshold and into the um, bottom of the um, opening bit what do they call that hallway type thing of the um, of the centre because the um, landlord said I could put it there because I've got to keep it out of the rain because um, the rain kills the battery so right so I must crack on and do a little bit more work and in effect a little bit less diamond painting because at present my rate of diamond paintings is or it was a bit burning out mode you know it was a bit excessive and we all really need to find a happy balance and that is it Oh God, there it goes. You can hear the cat munching down. She's gone off her bloody food again. She's munching down on the dried food and she does it loudly just to make you aware that the fact that she's eating dry food because she doesn't like the food that's down there. And I say tough because you've got another big box of that dry, of that wet cat food. And you usually like it. 
So it means the next time I go out, I will have to get a couple of tins of the cheapy tuna fish for her. Because that usually works. The treat. She sometimes goes off of food because it's um it's processed shit, isn't it? Every now and then she gets a bit of chicken breast, you know, and a bit of other meat. But it's still, you know, not good for her. But well. Oh, where did that one drop? I hate it when you drop it. And you can't see it because it's dropped onto black. to do some memo pads i've got some already sorted and i just need to finish them off but it's the printing out of them I've got the pattern and everything else you know that i've created and i've got notebooks of this card that i sort of adapted added a few bunnies on Bunnies with headbands and ribbons and change some wording. And I've got to change that wording a little bit more, I think, to make it look because I've swapped out one word for another word and you can tell the difference in in um you know what's the word? Oh god, what's it called? Ah, oh, Ariel, um, Helvety, uh, Comic Sans, that, that thing, you know. What do they call that? In, the difference in, what is it? What is it? typeface. Is that what it's called? Don't want that one. He's got... Ooh. Typefaced. Typefaced. Typeface. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I've forgotten. It's the thing. I'm starting to forget all kinds of things. But a lot of it is I'm tired. I am so, so tired. God, this is ridiculous, isn't it? And probably very boring for you. What's going on here? I mean, just seeing black. But why not? Hmm. When Easter is. Is it in April or is it in the end of March this year? God, we'll soon be at the end of February already. I mean, where has it gone? I don't know. I think these, these months are going a bit too damn fast. It's like everything's speeding up. Is this world actually spinning at a certain speed or is it sped up its spinning? Because I think we must be going a lot faster. And then what? We spin off our axis. We create climate 
all kinds of climate weather conditions, more volcanoes, earthquakes, weather fronts, the Gulf Stream changes. I know the poles switch, apparently. Are we due for one of those or have they already switched? I know. Oh dear. Oh god. I think I need some more flipping whatnot on the back of this pen. Yeah. Oh, Mother McCready. Or is it McCready? Well, I'm already bored of this colour, but I really want to finish at least this if I don't do the other. <laughs> but, well, we will see. I really want to get on and do some ABs, and there's a lovely black AB. I know it's black again, isn't it? But it's black AB and it is sexy. It really is the bee's knees, the dog's badoodars. Oh dear. Get in there. Oh, then you go and push them in and all they do is take the little baskets out. Oh, for God's sakes. I can't see and I'm leaning. Bring that a little bit nearer, I think. Oh, sorry, wobbled you. got to take to my craft fair I have got magnets diamond paintings red hearts um, some trays um, some storage some pens some little envelope things I made I've got some key rings blanks they are I've got some Sizzix dice, some punches, um, uh, I said diamond paintings, they were like notebooks, um, fabric scrap bags. What else have I got? don't know but I'm sure I've got lots of other bits got some little journal holders with a couple of notepads in Oh, little purses with stickers on. They went down quite well with the kids. I sold them quite cheaply just to get shot of. Um, what else have I got? Oh, some done painting cards. Paint and minis mainly. I've got to make a load more. Ah, that's another thing I was going to do on my... Because before I was using my Sizzix and I was using one of my... Um, What's it called, dies? One of my quilting dies, a square one, a five inch one. And um, I was using that and having to line it up. And um, 
so I've got equal size and making that as a mount for my um for my paint gems but I can create the template in Canva or Procreate and then I can just print it out and then I can get the scan and cut to cut it out and that will be a piece of pea. A piece of cake. Piece of pastry. Petisserie. And then I've got the mounts without having to do anything, you know, fiddly after I've cut the square out of the middle. Hmm. That'd be quite good. I've also got to then cut the um the paper for the inserts. The, yeah, the cardstock for the inserts of the envelopes for those binders. I've got to then um print out on my P touch um the sort of the vinyl labels to go on those plastic ziploc envelopes for binders. Um I've got to punch the holes in the um what's it called homemade envelopes laminated envelopes that i've got um yeah what else have i got to do Um, and make up the cards. I've got to tidy up here. I've got to take my heavy industrial duty guillotine and corner puncher um, up to the office. Maybe take my scan and cut. Um, then what? Um, yes, yeah, so I was looking at um, IKEA. Because, first of all, I thought, oh, well, you know, I could probably get things a lot cheaper elsewhere. And um, and then I can, um, but then I thought, no, because if I do, A, I'm going to have to take it out there myself. And I haven't got any transport. So, if I IKEA it, yes, I have to pay some money. But actually, that isn't as bad this time. Because they seem to have dropped their prices, so I really want to get in quick on that, and um, and get a two by four calyx, um, a uh, four cube calyx, um, a couple of Nedmies, which are those big DVD racks, another table, a pegboard, and some accessories. And what else was there? I think that was it. Oh, and some, yeah, table legs, obviously, because the tables don't come with the legs. And then, yeah, and get that delivered, because then the IKEA people will bring it up the stairs. And I don't have to do any lugging. So I thought, hmm. That's the way to do it. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. So I'm going to um, sort that out shortly, next month, once I've paid off this month's things. So we'll see. Well, it's, you know, so many plans I need to do. But A, the longer I diamond paint, I am not going to get around to doing any of it. Because I am just 
procrastinating, which is crazy. Nearly there. But we will see. I need to sort out. I think I quite like to sort out like a launch for my website. But you see, on my website, I've got all kinds of things on there. I mean, my website is the wonky stitch. But at the same point, you know, it's... um. What's going on here? It's um, a little bit, lots of things on there. I mean, I really do need to um, because that is the name of my old business. Yes, I'm still known as the wonky stitch. So I basically lumped that one basically under my brown cards and crafts um, moniker. But I'd really quite like to rebrand as such, big words, because you know I do beg all at the minute. But um, you know to include all what I do. So on my website, it would be nice to have the fabric section, the um, when I get round to doing it and up and, you know, and I've sorted it out properly and got it up, up to par. I'd have um, a punch needling section. I would have a um, book, you know, notebook, pads, memos kind of section. And I'd have stickers. And then I'd have my cards and my untamed bits, bookmarks. But yeah, so um, I've loads of kind of plans, but whilst I'm diamond painting, I'm not doing any of those. And it's crazy. It's, it's, it's a waste. A waste of time. And then another day goes by and it perhaps that's why these days are blurring into you know one and going so fast you know maybe if i actually you know focused on something else other than diamond painting then half me thinks i've got all these paintings now And I love doing them, but they aren't paying the bills. Well, maybe if I get to a thousand subscribers, they might start paying. But, you know, I'm an old fart. I don't do Instagram. I mean, I have an Instagram, but I don't really do it because I don't understand it. I have a Twitter, but I don't really do it because I don't like it. Um, I have Facebook, but I don't really do that much now. And um, and so it's all sort of strange. So I just don't know. Pondering my life. And things I should be doing. And I mean, when I go to upload these, what I tend to do now is I upload using the um, app, which is so easy, but I can't seem to fill in too much information on that because if I'm doing it on my phone, um, 
you know, I can't get certain links up on it because I'm such a cack-handed bugger that I'd, um, or what I had put up and, you know, thought I'd saved. By the time me going off and looking for the link that I need, copying it and coming back, everything else would have disappeared. So it's, um, there we go. Oh, look at that corner. So I don't know. It's, um, I'm not that good. I'm not very, I'm a hobby. A hobby business for mental health. Yes, it's serious, but it's not, you know, whatever. I mean, look, I've got a load of these. This is some of the, the I should take this with me to the um, craft fair actually, just to get shot of. I got these because I thought, oh, I'm going to do some scrunchies at some point. And these are perfect for that. You know, I'll get a stamp or a sticker and I'll put it on there, you know. And, um, and on the back I'll have the wash instructions, which is another sticker which I'll get. And I thought, right, so I've got these. How long have I had them? Over two years. I'm pretty certain of it. And I've got lots of stuff like that. It's crazy. I might just actually do a... Um, a thing on here at some point just um have a whole load of items up and for sale and see if anybody wants to buy them and then they can just email me because i'll put my email thing in the description and um and then we can go from there maybe that's what i should do and i've got some diamond paintings And then I've got a couple of um, dreamy designs that I no longer want. I don't like dreamy designs of those. <coughs> the Hannah Lynn ones. Big headed and... Oh, I don't know why I got them. I liked them at the time, but I don't anymore. Hmm. And the Astronomer. I don't know why I got that one. I really don't know why. But I did. So that one can go. Um, I got a few others, which theoretically I'm not going to get around to doing. So I should just cut my losses. So maybe that's what I will do. Maybe I'll have a think and a plan. But well, hmm. I might have to do that on a live. Oh, God. But it won't just be diamond painting stuff. I'll have lots of other bits. Yeah. I'll have a think about that. And I will see if it's worth doing. And if you think of it, if it is, you know, let me know in the comments below. You know. If you think I should just do it. <laughs> you know. I mean I can just do it. And it doesn't matter does it really. If it works. It works. If it doesn't. It doesn't. That's that. But yes. Maybe that's what I should have to do. I'll have another think. Anyway. I'm waffling and talking to myself. Trying to convince myself. That I need to actually get up and do something proper. But um, as I've got no... um uh what's it called video for tomorrow i have to do another so all the ones that i had done in advance and scheduled they've all been used now so there's this one and i keep thinking maybe i should i don't know try and work out how to do an intro an outro and make my channel a little, a little bit more professional looking but then I don't I'm not a professional and I don't really intend to come across as a professional because I'm not I'm just me just doing stuff for my sanity to keep me at bay and this gives me a purpose 
And it also gives me a bit of a routine because then I'm, you know, I think, right, I have to put out a video today or tomorrow. So then I get on and actually do it. And this has been absolutely amazing. So since I've been putting out these videos, that is perhaps the only constant and my craft group that I have done in a long, long time. So it's like, hmm, there's something to it. No matter, you know, how unpolished it is, it doesn't matter. And if you're thinking of doing a channel, but you're a bit scared. Yeah, the first one is pretty scary. But then, you know, a lot of us, we're pretty used to talking to ourselves anyway. So, you know, be the camera on or be the camera off. It doesn't make a difference. You know, and also, I mean, I don't show my face. I'm a completely, you know, oh, you're not getting me on camera. Um, I think that's part of that is because when I grew up, my dad was a photographer and um, we were always being photographed and uh, yeah, so I've sort of been there, done that, got the T-shirt of it a bit. And also I, I feel old and frumpy, so I'm not going to get out on the camera. So you can just do it, you know, like like I do it, you know. You can make it posh and professional or you can just leave it as just doing it, you know, in whichever way. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you know, not to be whatever, but I'm doing this for me to give me a routine, something that I'm actually finishing, starting and finishing. Um, and it does help that there is sort of really no start and finish to this. This is just an ongoing thing. And, you know, and one day there might come a time when I just decide no. And that's fine, too. So if you're considering setting up your own channel, just go for it. Just do it. But do it for you. And, um, you know, and everything else will fall into place. You know, and I don't worry so much about the um, about the subscribers to a certain extent, how many I've got. You know, I'm thankful for, for what I have got and thank you, thankful for all the people that do comment and like and, you know, share and all that. And yes, times it would be lovely to have at least a thousand subscribers because then I can monetize <laughs> the channel and get a little bit, you know which will then I can throw back into the channel, you know, buy more kits and stuff like that. Mind you, we buy my kits anyway, because as I say, it's for me. And um, yeah, but, you know, I quite like to do some giveaways. So that's what, you know, some of me will go back to. I like to get debt free, <laughs> wouldn't we all? And um Yeah, but either way, you know, that's a by the by, that's a, that's a side bit. If it happens, that happens. If it doesn't, well, it doesn't. And yeah, so just give it a whirl. Besides, you can film it. You don't have to put it up if you don't like the film. You know, you can just take another one. But I tell you what, it does get you used to sort of just going for it. I mean, at the beginning, I was quite worried about what I was putting up. You know, it may not have been noticeable, but I was. But, um, you know, now it's just like, well, something's going up. And it is what it is. And, you know, and if it's really bad, well, then I won't put it up. But, you know, nine times out of ten, I put it up, warts and all. And that's that's it. It's just, this is who I am. Just be who you are. Do what you feel is right. You know. Please yourself first. Before pleasing other people. And. Yeah. All of. Oh God. Live long and prosper. Can't do it because my rings. Live long and prosper. Right, on that note, 
I really do like these tear things. Anyway, on that note, I'm going to stop and I'm going to go and um, do my planning now and my um, list writing and working out all the things that I need to do and break them down into what I need to do first because the ADHD in me is um, I've got to focus. I've got to find an order in doing things. Otherwise, I will get sidetracked. And then I will go off and, ooh, shiny, shiny thing over there. Let's do that instead. Oh, I fancy doing that. Get all the stuff to do that. And then it's, oh, ooh, shiny, shiny thing over there. And go off and do that. And, um, yeah, not very conducive, is it, to running a business. But anyway, I'm waffling on again, aren't I? Have fun. We've got a weekend coming up shortly. Tomorrow's Friday, so thank crunchy it's Friday, as they say. I nearly said something else, but I apologise. And um, I will see you in the next one. So, bye-bye.